The Nintendo Switch has another rumor coming up, and this one actually might be for the Switch Lite. Actually, they're talking about that it might be a 5G Switch. Now, I was trying to do my research because I see a lot of YouTubers. They're going in. They're putting up these videos, these uh, rumor videos, because as of now, it's not confirmed. I couldn't find any news articles about it for some strange reason. It popped up on uh, Reddit from a person. Some reason, I, I unless I'm not looking hard enough, I can't find that Reddit page. And I, it mind boggles me because it's still a rumor, but it sounds like something that Nintendo would actually do. Just for the simple fact that uh, the Switch is not getting no new hardware in no time soon. And on top of that is basically the fact that the Switch Lite didn't get a, re a revision. The regular Switch didn't even get a regular revision. It just got a minor upgrade, which was the OLED screen. And basically, that wasn't a major jump. But this rumor might have some truth to it for the simple fact that the Switch Lite is basically a pointless... Not, not saying that it's a pointless machine, but it serves its purpose to be just a handheld device. And with the cloud gaming on the rise and a lot of these uh, more demanding games are only cloud available like Control and the Kingdom Hearts uh, trilogy you need a internet connection to play those games and most of the time if you don't have a stable internet connection outside like in the train or maybe the airport you're not going to get the best uh, signal to actually play that game so if you did have a switch light or even a regular switch it would be pointless and I could see this being truthful for the simple fact not, not even just take the cloud gaming out but in order for you to play your Nintendo um, Switch online games like the NES and uh, Sega games and you know all those old games that everyone acts like they like but don't play um, the simple fact is that you need to check in online that that's a I could see the 5G being used to check in, so that way you could keep playing your games, you know, on the go, without you know, uh, you know, being stopped because you don't have an internet connection. But then again, why they didn't put that feature into the OLED switch? Hmm. Make you know it it is it, is weird how Nintendo decides to do things. I think. If they was going to implement a feature like this, it should have been in the OLED Switch. So you can get a little more bang for your buck. And on top of that, um, from what I remember from watching uh, other YouTubers. and from Basically, the service provider is going to be T-Mobile. Uh, I want to say Verizon. I want to say AT&T. I know those three off the top of my head. Okay. And... If that's true, I mean, if if it's only like ten or five bucks extra to add the cellular service to the, um, you know, to your Switch just so you could play games online, I mean, sure, why not? But the thing is, you have to be within range of a five G tower, which I don't believe a lot of people is even close by, or even if you are within the range, I doubt that the signal would be strong enough to even do a multiplayer game like Splatoon or Mario Strikers or whatever online game you decide to play, that signal won't be strong enough. So it's kind of worrisome just for the simple fact, how are they going to implement this? And what is the use case? Because if they do decide to do this, I could see them increasing the price up to 250 bucks. But at that point, are you really going to pay $50 extra just for 5G capability? This is what you need to question. And not only that, but I mean, <laughs> if that's the only thing you could do with the 5G, then it's a it's a little pointless. I mean, it'll, I mean, the only way I would buy something like that, I got to be able to pick up my phone calls from my Switch. I think it would be way better because if it's connected to your phone number, someone calls you, you can answer it from your Switch or you could probably implement something. I don't know. Matter of fact, I don't even want to throw that in the air just for the simple fact 
Uh, I was going to say, you can use it for voice chat capability um, for online games. But, I mean, <laughs> they might just still make you go through the online <laughs> the online uh, Nintendo app and stuff. But that's the rumor. And this could work. And this could fall straight on Nintendo's face. So, I honestly really don't see how this could be... Um, feasible but then again it is nintendo and nintendo always decides to go left when everyone goes right so don't be surprised if this rumor is true and everyone is disappointed because it's not a switch revision or a switch pro upgrade um i don't think we're getting that anytime soon most i think that we'll probably get that if it, if a switch pro is in the works if it's not in the spring of next year it will have to be the following spring or even the fall of 2023, the winter of 2023. So, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. But Nintendo Switch is... They, <laughs> Nintendo might implement 5G in the Switch. Can't wait to see this. If you guys liked the video, if you guys felt like I informed you, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button to stay notified. Uh, I do these videos for free. I'm actually at work in a... At a in a cubicle recording this, like in a soundproof room. Okay, um, that's how I'm dedicated. I don't make money off these videos, so a like and a subscribe, anything, a comment would definitely help out. I appreciate the video. Stay safe. I'm out.